Now, let us have a look at prana and the elements. We have seen by now that elements are the different components of existence. Each element has a pure form as well an impure form. When the element is pure and subtle, it is in the form of energy. The whole manifestation is made of energy. Our body is also composed of similar elements which are called in Sanskrit Putas, the five elements, ether, air, fire, water and earth, can be either gross or subtle. The grosser element earth comes to the human system through food while water makes its presence felt in its own form. Sunlight brings fire, air takes the form of wind, and ether is felt as akasha or sky. But the pure and subtle form of the elemental energy gets activated in the human system through the movement of pulmonary organs, the lungs, while we breathe. The movement of breath includes both the subtle and gross movements that happen in the body during the process of breathing. Sometimes, when we breathe, the breath may not be deep. If the breath is not deep enough, the chances of the breath to provide oxygen for the entire body to release sufficient prana to support its metabolic activities will be slim. Breathing may remain shallow for hours and even for days. If a person breathes normally for an hour, the earth element will be dominant for 20 minutes. The water element will be dominant 16 minutes, fire element for 12 minutes, air element for 8 minutes, and ether element for 4 minutes. When earth element is dominant, the breath will be deep. When water element is dominant, the movement of the breath will be reaching and concentrating in the genital center. The movement of breath will be reaching the navel center when the fire element is dominant. When breath stays in the chest region, air element will be dominant. The settling down of movement of breath is an indication of the dominance of the ether element. It is presumed that there is elemental balance when the above proportion is maintained in the breathing process. If this balance is set aside for some reason, the person is prone to ill health and sickness. Let us have a look what is elemental balancing. As we have already seen, our body, like nature, is composed of five elements, the preoccupations and obsessions of the mind, along with physical exertions, often create imbalances in the elemental compositions. In Swara Yoga, it is said, creation takes place due to tattvas. They are the subtle essences, the monads. Everything is sustained by the tattvas and finally dissolves into the tattvas. The first tattva, which evolved, was akasha, ether. From akasha, vayu, air. From vayu came agni, fire. And from fire came apas, water, and from water evolved Prithvi, earth. These are the different stages of manifestation from the subtle to the gross. Everything around us is composed of five tattvas. Prana is also composed of the five elements. As you have seen, Prana is generated by the support of the breathing process. All animals, 
change the rhythm of breathing every now and then. Generally, the pace of breathing of an infant is very high when compared to that of an adult. For an infant, the rhythm of breathing changes from the chest to the belly, from the belly it changes to the very base of the body, and from there to the genital region, and then to the throat. The breath reaches everywhere in the course of its movement. The depth of breathing and its corresponding movements in particular organs of the body support the release of prana into that specific regions. We are well aware that the breath only reaches the lungs while we breathe. But it is a fact that the oxygen in the breath will be carried by the blood vessels to each and every cell of the body. The density, length and movement of the breath varies. In one hour, a balanced and healthy person will breathe 20 minutes with complete involvement with his whole body participating in the breathing process. During this time, the movement of the breath reaches even the perineum region, the very base of the body. Then comes water element. During the time of water element dominant breathing, which is 16 minutes, the vibe of the breath starts from the nostrils and reaches the genital soul. The duration of fire element dominant breathing is 12 minutes and the vibe of the breath reaches the navel. Eight minutes for air and the vibe of the breath reaches to the chest. Ether element dominant breathing lasts for four minutes and reaches to the throat. When prana is released from different regions of the body, the corresponding endocrine glands that are located in the respective regions get stimulated, which in turn activate the hormonal system and corresponding biochemical mechanism and the mind of the person. There will be corresponding physiological changes which manifest in the body and are indicative of changes in the elemental composition. While we breathe deep and long, the density of breathing will be very high. When we feel insecure, we involuntarily take deep breaths to cope up with the situation. In the same way, when the movement of breath comes down to the genital soul, it stimulates the sex center. Water is the element with respect to this center. It starts to activate the water element, fire in the navel region, air in the chest, and ether in the throat. We go on changing the rhythm of breathing many times in sleep to make up for the used up elements releasing tensions and nourishing the system with elements is what's happening during sleep. That's how one regains energy during sleep. The rest and nourishment we get out of eight hours of sleep could be achieved by a few minutes of voluntary and proper breathing. By voluntary channeling of breath, the body could be nourished with prana and the mind could be brought to a state of relaxation. Prana, which is the vital energy, also have five tattvas or elements, as I mentioned before. It is understood by the wise on the basis of the density of air intake and that of the air expelled. When the density varies, the intensity and color of the prana also varies. It changes from yellow to white, red, blue, and finally to black. Prana is the source of energy which goes on changing its nature and form. From gross to subtle, 
and subtle to gross. The subtle nature of prana is light, which is expressed around each and every object as its aura. When prana is dominant with the earth element, the color reflected on chitakasha will be yellow. When it is dominant with water element, the color will be white, with fire red, with air blue, and with ether black. By analyzing the colors, one can easily understand the element and the corresponding chakra which is activated at this, that moment. This helps one to understand where one's prana is moving and what would be the state of mind of the person at that time. To know the colors, one has to close the eyes, relax the chest, diaphragm and the ribs. After relaxing the jaws, bring the attention to the sky that appears on the forehead. This sky is called Chitakasha. Keep all the attention on Chitakasha while simultaneously listening to the breath. The color which reflects on Chitakasha indicates the element which is in operation at a given moment. If one has a specific problem in some of the inner organs and wants to channelize the pranic flow to that region for healing, one can channelize it more effectively if one visualizes the color of the element with respect to the particular chakra under which that particular organ belongs. To strengthen the inner organs with prana, this kind of visualization is very, very effective. In a healthy person, the breath changes from the right to the left nostril and from the left to the right nostril during every hour of breathing. By careful observation, one can see that the length of breath is very long when the earth element is dominant in the breath. When the breath is longer, it will naturally be deep. Deep breathing is one of the ways to recognize earth element. There is another way of identifying the earth element, which is to look at the sky of consciousness, Chitakasha, to see the predominant color prevailing there. If it is yellow or colors tending towards yellow, it indicates that the earth element is dominant in the breath at that time. While water element is active in the breath, the movements and vibrations of breath reach the genital area. The light which appears in Chitakasha will be more or less white. The breath reaches the navel region when fire element is dominant in the breath. The predominant color is Chitakasha will be red with lots of movements. The movement of the breath reaches the chest region when the air element is dominant. The predominant color in the Chitakasha will be blue or tending towards green. One will have more or less settled breathing when the ether element is dominant. The vibration of breath stays in the throat region during this time. The predominant color in the Chitakasha will be gray or black with flashes of light and sparkles. When the breath is dominant with ether element, the mind will be more or less settled. When both nostrils are fully open, the breath starts to flow through the Sushumna, which is the central canal. Sushumna is the channel of awareness. When the breath moves through Sushumna, the mind will be very focused and one will be able to understand the very subtle principles underlying one's own existence at the time. Balance, clarity and vision are the result of such breathing. When the breath flows through the right nostril, one will be physically alert 
and the left hemisphere of the brain will be operative and active. When the breath flows through the left nostril, the person will be mentally alert and the right hemisphere of the brain will be operative. When both the nostrils are evenly operating, the person is able to strike a balance between the mental and physical activities. When one is balanced, one is calm. When one is calm, clarity enters the scene. With clarity, one understands the subtle aspects of one's own existence easily. It gives new awareness. The more balanced and clear one is the greater the contact is with the source, the intelligence. Let us have a look at the emotions and feelings corresponding to elements. While ether element is active in the breath, one will be feeling more or less calm and settled, both physically and mentally. The predominant feeling will be a feeling of communication and integration. The negative emotions with respect to ether element are frustration and jealousy in communication. When the air element is in action, the mind tends to be occupied with various emotions such as joy, sorrow, empathy, sympathy, compassion and love. Generally, it is an emotional time. When the breath is dominant with fire element, the mind will be agitated to find rational solutions to problems. Heightened emotions due to difficulties in accepting what is seen or heard manifest during the time of fire element. This is the time, for example, when one feels a lot of difficulties in accepting the views, beliefs and concepts of others. One will be predominantly very rational when the fire element is active. Anger is the predominant emotion with respect to fire element. Avarice, competitiveness and belligerence are attitudes complementary with the difficulties in accepting. When water element is dominant in the breath, the predominant tendency is feelings connected to sex and family. During this time, one will be both imaginative and creative. Feelings of sexual frustration, loneliness and depression are predominant of the water element. When earth element is dominant in the breath, one will be looking for food, security and shelter. Possessiveness, greed, jealousy, anxiety, fear, lack of confidence and nervousness are allied states connected with insecurity of the earth element.